Earlier this year, Wisconsin joined 25 other states in a lawsuit challenging Obamacare. Chief of their concerns is the individual mandate, which requires every person in the country to buy health insurance. It's very important as the lawyer for the state of Wisconsin that our constitutional rights reserved for us in, the, uh, in our Constitution by our founding fathers continue to be preserved so we can continue to have some local control. Supporters of Obamacare say the federal government has this power under the Commerce Clause in the Constitution. However, the lawsuit says the individual mandate oversteps the bounds of the Constitution. Uh, I've been repeatedly commenting that um, never before has the government required an individual to purchase something just by virtue of existing under the guise of the, the Commerce Clause. Well, they pointed out that it's not just purchasing something, it's purchasing something again and again and again and again from birth until death. And that's really unprecedented and that the Commerce Clause certainly doesn't expand that far. The case has worked its way past federal district courts to three courts of appeal. The Fourth Circuit Court's decision is pending. The Sixth Circuit Court ruled the mandate is constitutional. And on Friday, the 11th Circuit Court said the mandate is not constitutional. Ultimately, I believe the Supreme Court will take the case, especially since two of the federal circuits now have come down with contradictory opinions. Uh, it creates very significant problems if the Supreme Court doesn't take this case and clarify it now. Wisconsin Attorney General J.B. Van Hollen believes if and when the Supreme Court hears the case, there is a good chance it will also find the individual mandate to be unconstitutional. Well, it's very clear that uh, Congress was limited in their power under the Commerce Clause in our Constitution. And the Supreme Court has a couple of times decided they're limited. If this health care law is allowed to stand as it is, uh, it basically eliminates any limits and contradicts two prior United States Supreme Court decisions, I believe. The Supreme Court will be back in session in October. Obamacare is already being implemented, and by 2014, the individual mandate will go into effect. Uh, so I, I really expect that we'll hear something this winter or spring, uh, but the Supreme Court can do as they wish. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.